Greetings and salutations, everyone. Hi. This is Samus. Remington's here. Hi. Hey, everybody. I just wanted to show Remington this game I've been playing a little bit off stream, off camera, off everything. Called Monster Sanctuary on the Switch. And uh, I think I'm finally, like, busted out of the tutorial, basically, or the hands-on mode. And uh, this is it. So this is a platformer slash Pokemon game essentially i don't know have you have you tr played any of these kind of games before mm, not really yeah you're not really a platformer right okay so it has a very metroidvania feel to it to me uh or castlevania feel uh like i said right now i started over in the green section and i'm just now kind of over here ready to move into this i don't know whatever puke green color you want to yeah, call it it looks like a fuse yeah yeah and uh we'll get going but you start off here i just unlocked the ability to double jump a little bit ago so now i can double jump and get really high depending on which uh pokemon i have out uh by hitting the x button you can do different things so like a winged guy can give you a little bit of a lift you can switch them out and uh like this cat guy has a sword uh activates water orbs if you like flick through here they all kind of say levitates the player burns vines and kindles torches activate fire orbs moves heavy blocks hidden breaks walls etc etc so uh they have different powers but again it, at the end of the day it's still a little bit of a platformer i kind of want to re basically record this a little bit for you guys as like a t as a teaser or a trailer potentially for the stream uh, it's something I've, like I said, I've been enjoying, so I thought, we'll check it out a little bit. So we could have jumped over those guys and navigated around, but instead I thought, let's show off the combat. So to kind of give you a rough idea of what's going on, we're going to be fighting a Crackle Knight, a Grummy, and a second Rump Crackle Knight. And then I can now choose uh, if I want to start the combat, uh... Or I think I can rearrange my monsters. I really don't care. I basically play A squad all the time. So uh, here we go. Depending on how you have them set up in the thing. Shows off their like initiative queue. It also has some speed stuff goes along with it. But basically I've set it up here where this blob always goes first. And casts a group buff called wizardry. It costs 90 mana. I have 200 possible mana. You can tell up at the kind of top up there. And... Uh, it's going to cast a little buff on everybody. And now, Catboy here can choose between a couple of different abilities. Claws, which is a, a physical attack. Uh, slash, that can do a bunch of stuff. I have a long slash that will attack all the enemies. Uh, and then fire claws. So a lot of them just attack one guy, but some of them attack many guys. And some of them attack several times. And some of them have different levels. So in this case, Slash right now is the highest tier of attack I have, which is tier three. We're just gonna pick a, we're gonna pick a guy and we're gonna hit him real hard. All right, now my, I don't know, my bird bat fire guy. It's like a Sphinx, but not quite. I get a couple of choices here. Uh, if you look in the in the enemies guys, there you have a knight. You have a plant looking monster with an arrow up above his head. Uh, the arrow up above his head shows that he is damage. Uh, he's like takes extra damage. Again, think typing and Pokemon. Um, the little shields now above the knights, for example, show that they take reduced damage from lightning. So I can hit the entire group with this blast, but it doesn't look like they're going to do all that much damage. Hmm. I originally was just going to pick one guy and kind of be like, you're my Huckleberry, but maybe, yeah, I still will. Just Huckleberry this guy. All right, so now the enemy makes it their turn. They lowered my armor class a whole bunch. They did some damage. All right, not that bad of a turn. All right, so the other thing that's kind of cool about this game is your mana regenerates. So it starts at a certain point, and then it has a regeneration. Um, and the regeneration can be augmented by items that your your Pokemon. I'm going to say Pokemon because they're not Pokemon. They're, they're definitely Pokemon. They're Pokemons. Pokemons. So you have different options here. They're, it's like also a little bit RPG, which is the other thing I really like about it. So we have a heal, uh, slime knot. Uh, that's a dot. 
uh, slime slot, acid rain. It looks like we're gonna acid rain this guy right here. Break his armor a little bit. Kitty cat can go next. Can't long slash because the cat doesn't have the mana generation that everyone else does. So as you can tell by using slash, that basically said we couldn't use long slash again this turn. Uh, but I think if we use, I feel like we should just use our cheapest attack here. Yeah, we'll just kill that guy. It's fine. Uh, I will say on Front Street here, I played the AI's version of us, the uh, arrival, as it were. Rival wrecked us just wrecked me uh let's acid rain this guy again then uh, it turns out when the monsters are healing back again what? it's really bad Is yeah all right let's blow all these guys up again explode now that gentleman spent his turn healing which i call cheats but i guess i'll allow it uh that's a good thing not for the monsters. It's no. almost always a good thing if the enemy heals. That is how my my rival beat me, is that the rival apparently heals for free. <laughs> I felt like that was much cheats. Like The only time healing is really bad for you is if you're playing a tactic game. Okay, so part of the thing that's also kind of cool about this, and I did not show off very well how this works, but uh, they have a, the combat and how you do when it actually matters. Uh, for a couple of ways. Not only does it talk to you about bonus gold, but it gives you a loot chance at the end of every battle. So depending on how many stars you have, based off of like combos, debuffs, uh, how hard the enemies were, how many turns it takes, it, it changes your rarity value on your loot rolls. So I didn't do very good. So I got uh, 66 gold, a copper, and that's it. That's so bad. it's pretty bad. Now, on the flip side, we had a couple of guys level, which is pretty much perfect, so we can show off the skill system. Uh, so we'll take Quinn as the only one that I've actually named, because that's your starter one. And it's got a really interesting skill tree, oh, I think. Geez. Yeah, Remington just goes, oh, geez. I don't know if you guys heard. But, uh, so, it's a tier-based system based off your level, obviously. Level 10 has a cap here, level 20, level 30, and then level 40 down here. Uh, basically, every time you tick over a segment, you get a skill point, and I imagine it's something like, uh, it's not, I don't think one skill point every level, but it's close to that, I believe. Um, and you can kind of pick and choose your trees. I think I'm going to start going this direction a little bit. Um, I like the idea of having a little bit of buffing for... Uh, utility for the entire team in case I want to feed a particular person to kill. Uh, so that's kind of the skill system. The other thing that's really neat about this is a equipment based system. So you have a weapon slot and three accessories. So if you look in the lower left hand corner you'll see where it has the weapon name and it's called plus one. Uh, that also shows the stat. So 50 uh, to attack both physical and magical and mana regeneration 16. Remember how I talked about how the mana system can be augmented by the items? This is part of it. So every character, every creature, every monster, uh, every mon has a certain amount of regeneration every turn. This is a good way to augment it. Uh, so this is one of the ways that I found so far. Uh, medallion, similar thing. Uh, this also augments your defenses, which is a stat, and your critical damage, which is also a stat. Um, and some other things. So I think these are kind of cool uh, as, a, as another little option just to kind of give you an idea about this guy to kind of variate a little bit is um, I've kind of been trying to set him up as my combo slash crit guy. A lot of his powers have to do with uh, when you crit, you do extra stuff. He has extra crit chance up here and he has extra crit damage and stuff over here. And I've adjusted his gear in such a way uh, Oh, trying to change items here where he gets extra crit chance extra crit damage so if you look at his stat block for example he's got an extra 22 percent chance to crit 
And if he does do crit damage, he does an extra 75, or sorry, 95% crit damage. So if he kind of goes off, he kind of goes off. And then because of his skills, I picked up some, some things. First hit of ability has an additional 20% chance to critical, which is why I really like using the triple hit. Because it three chances to critical, right? Uh, and then 2% uh, extra damage for every buff on the monster which is part of the reason i'm starting to buff my guys to start with uh it's part of part of what's going on although a quick question for remy and remington might be able to answer this right now i have three item slots sure would you consider swapping an item that gives a random buff for an extra that also says have an additional two percent damage because that's essentially what this item would do okay I feel like I should switch this Pandora's box over, I guess is what I'm trying to say. To the crit guy? To the crit guy. All right, it seems fine. Because that would just be, again, because uh, the Pandora's box, if mm -hmm. you guys didn't get to read it, uh, says receive a random buff at the start of combat. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's another layer of buffing. I, I you know, So essentially it would say, hey, start with an extra 2% damage. I think that's all right. It seems fine to me. So I'll have to consider that and see how it goes. Um, it sounds great for putting it on whatever guy you're relying on to kill the enemy. <laughs> it should go on your offensive dude, not a buffer or a tank. Well, they're not always offensive buffs. Well, it's a lot of them, this. Yeah, maybe. Because even if it's a defensive buff, you're keeping your damage alive. So I had him on my main guy for a long time, and I didn't like it, actually. The other thing that's kind of interesting is uh, you also can feed them depending on what's going on. So if I were to feed a pear to my monk, he'll get an additional 20 mana. Uh, hazelnut, he'll get an extra 13 stats, uh, etc., etc. as you go down here. Um, and you can have up to three recent meals. So actually, I didn't realize I had a meal that said I can uh, get a bunch of extra crit back. So for example on uh, my cat man here cat sword bro we have two potatoes and a berry giving us 60 uh health times two and an extra six percent critical chance i could lose some hit points to have an extra six percent crit well it's fine if you uh that's crit damage crit damage that's a hundred percent crit damage but it's fine if you uh put on like the pandora's box so then when he gets his buff if it's a defensive buff it'll be all the more useful Let's, let's try it. Let's try real fast. Let's just see. All right. So if we're going to take off the Pandora's box on little bro, man. He doesn't really need more mana right now. Yep, we're definitely cuckoo. Uh, let's try this one, actually. He's got some healing stuff going on. I've been working on his passive healing. Um, here we go. This is what I wanted him to do. Uh, let's see. And then over here, we will equipment. All right. Um, it would have to be the sustain ring because the other two are very crit based and helpful. Yeah, but his ability, he really needs the mana regeneration. Uh, then you probably don't put on Pandora's cape because that bo Pandora's box, the other two just seem way too good. It's kind of what I was thinking. If he doesn't have that that big mana regeneration he'll never get a really another spell attack all right so let's go ahead and put this back on this guy then all right so let's uh let's kind of show see if we can find a window i'm exploring a new here's another semi-rival person not this is a different one Oh yeah, uh, they actually pay you for c extra captured Pokemons. You mm -hmm. don't actually catch them with balls or whatever. Uh, they are a potential rare drop after the end of combat is that they will drop an egg, oh. and you can hatch the egg to get your Pokemons. That's kind of neat. Uh, also, what are, what are they called? The, the super ones in Pokemon right now? What? Uh... Alphas? Yeah, the alphas. And the I think ones. they're called. I think they're currently called alphas in the other game, and uh, 
we also have alphas basically in this game super super pokemons nice. um treasure chests are scattered to boot again very metroidy you got corn i did find some corn uh, so you got to keep your eyes open. So it's, again, very much like an old school platformer. Uh, here is an electric orb, which I cannot, like, do anything about yet. Because you don't have an electric Because I don't have an electric Pokemon. I can't find a bloody Pikachu anywhere. So let's try to up here. No. Aha! See? Old school secrets. bunch of gold all right i have not found a super high use for gold yet breaking angles wow okay i have not seen an evolution of a monster yet this is cool rummy evolves into Rulu. let's start some combato so again i basically start this sorcery buffed old party i don't actually know if it's good or not but Buffs are great. I think it's good for the... Well, it's good for the one guy, because at the very least, it's 2% damage, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it said uh, plus 20% on the thing. If you attack three times, that's pretty good. All right. This guy's going to be our our man, I think. And then we're going to explosive blast their entire team. Yeah, buffs seem crazy. Right? This guy doesn't have a particularly good attack against them. Let's just heal. Nice. That's a big heal. That's fine, doesn't matter. He wasted his turn, so now you can attack him three times. That, now, healing is bad for the enemy almost every time. See, we don't have enough mana regeneration to long slash again this turn. That's fine, just slash. Fire claws, they do not like fire. What? That one doesn't care about fire? Yep. They lose their fire vulnerability when they get big? Yeah, he changes his type. Oh, that's lame. Let's just kill it. Fine, lots of Pokemon. Do big that. crits. Nope, not a big crit. Boom, look at that. Three stars. Oh, that was so bad. I've been like four star and five star in all these fights. I'm, I seriously do feel bad. Uh, also... So I know you guys can't really see what's going on on the screen right now, but uh, just to kind of run through my guys, if you were to call the blob position one, and then the cat man position two, the little bird guy position three, start back over underneath, what would you call that guy? Like a, like a, a head with legs? Right, yeah. He's another fire guy. Uh, position four, no, sorry, position five. He's like your tank. Like, one of his powers is taunt, so that makes the monsters oh, more likely to attack him. I love taunt. Taunt is so good. And then this monk is like a water healer killer monk guy. It's actually really interesting. I'm not ready to get Remington into another game yet, but oh. I think when the time comes, this might be it. This thing is really... I, I'm loving it. This has been... Like, I'm on board with what I'm seeing, because I have so many games. I know, open. right? That's my problem. But again, I bought this thing for, like, sub... Definitely less than $10. I haven't bought a single thing on the Switch for more than $10. And I don't know how long it's going to take for me to get through Triangle Tactics. I don't feel like I'm even halfway through the game yet. And I've had 20 in-game hours of gameplay. Like, oh god. Oh my god. I cannot... I. I just assume there's some sort of Pokemon that, like, tongue leaked through grates like that to open levers. Yeah. I did not think... Oh, my goodness. All right. I did, would not have thought that that was how you had to do that. Yeah, there's going to be Pokemon with whips. No, that's what I was saying. I thought there'd be a Pokemon with whip. Instead, we walked all the way around and I went the back way. You did things in Metroidvania style? 
I did think it was going to be like that, but I also thought I'd find a Pokemon with a whip tongue. Maybe they both exist. That's true. <laughs> Maybe you'll find a frog at some no! point. No! See, look at that. Boom. No! Too far, man. All right. Anyway, I just wanted to give everyone a little taste to see what you guys thought about it. You know, see how it is. Remington, what do you think so far? Short, brief sample. I know, but... Uh, pretty good. The UI's got a lot of things going on. It seems crazy to me that, like, depending on how many monsters there are in the game, like, they each have that much versatility and all their skill trees and stuff. Because that was a huge skill tree. Massive, right? That was gigantic. That's really deep. With you can also... There's a thing that you can buy. It's pretty inexpensive, too. I, I want to say it's a couple hundred gold that resets their entire trees. So you can spend all the points all over again. So, like, if you decide that you'd like to specialize, like, this guy's for fire, this guy's for this, this mm -hmm. guy's for that, I think you can do that after a while and keep your pro progress. I like having wide variety in my things. Uh, I also, there are four starters. Okay. Uh, that blue one that you saw. So, whichever one you don't take, another NPC takes and basically be does stuff. So, there's, like, a, what looks to be, like, a poison frog thing, the cold fox dog person the fire bat thing and i can't remember what the last one is your bird no i taught the bird is what i said the fire bat bird thing oh, okay i don't remember what the fourth one is but there's four so instead of just having three starters <laughs> even there's four so i don't know i'm i'm digging it right now i'm i'm enjoying the retro feel i'm enjoying the the castlevanianness of it uh in particular i enjoy that i can just pick it up put it down and if I want to grind something, it feels like, you know, I can always go and nail a couple of monsters that I decided to jump over on a way to a chest. There's no no way there, right? Maybe. Let's try. Let's try this guy. Seems like a movable rock. Oh, yeah. Oh, two iron is huge. Uh, so one of the other things you could do, not to get too crazy about it, um... Remember we talked about the gear, you'll notice how we have some level 1, level 2 stuff. There's probably some level 0 stuff. Yeah, level 0 ribbon. Uh, there's different upgrades. So like once you have an item, you could go to a, to a blacksmith and you can upgrade your items. So, and it's not the same thing. So like upgrading a ribbon might take wool and like a gem. And then going to like a tier 2 ribbon might take gold string and three gems or something so like it changes also it's very cool i'm very impressed with how deep it is after playing a little bit of the pokemon game <laughs> oh it sounds so bad but pokemon's supposed to be simple a lot of pokemon's complexities come from hidden mechanics that you don't actually get to see there you go so this one's a little bit up in your face uh so i'm gonna give it two thumbs up like i said i'll continue to kind of play with it a little bit on the on the uh, download here for myself if it's something that you think that uh you'd like to see a little bit more of or uh either on the stream or maybe make a video uh let me know i would love to hear from you guys you got anything else all right everybody thanks for hanging out we appreciate it thanks toodles, toodles.